We received an anonymous tip about a number of pets in this particular duplex. And so when we arrived, we encountered the residents of the duplex. They let us in. We discovered somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 plus rats, lab type rats. There's also guinea pigs, there's rabbits, there's a couple of turtles, there's geckos. So again, we don't have an accurate count yet, but we're thinking it's somewhere in the neighborhood of possibly as many as 300 or more animals that are inside this duplex. Well, it's really an unfortunate circumstance. And obviously when someone is in a position like this, we want to get them some help. And that's what we want to do in this particular case because these were not good conditions for any animal to be in. Uh, the cages were in essence next to each other, packed in. There's very little room for anyone to move inside. And so again, we want to do what's best for the animals and we want to get some help for the people who actually have these animals. When we have cases like this, we see this quite commonly. You get one, all of a sudden you get two, next thing you know there's four and then there's eight and things get out of control when we have these animal hoarding cases. And so um, while not out of the ordinary, uh, this one certainly is extreme. I uh, can tell you the stench is horrible inside and I can only imagine what the neighbors next door in this duplex had been going through uh, because you don't have to be too far from that front door to actually smell the home. We got woke up this morning to the pest control uh, banging on our door asking if we knew anything about over a thousand rats and I said no and then he asked us if we knew the people next door but we don't know them we just know them as our neighbors. So then they wouldn't open their door for a long time. It took like two hours for them to open their door, first off. And then when they finally came out, then that's when people start going in to look in the house and stuff. But that's, I find it ridiculous because I never knew that we was living next door to all these animals. And we only been here for two months and the smell is ridiculous. We've been trying to kill this smell since we've been here and we can't even kill the smell. I think it's ridiculous because we should not be living in that living next door to nothing like that. I don't I don't approve of nothing like that. I don't even like animals. I have a one year old and he could get sick. Like my son is only one. And to know that we live next door to all these animals is crazy because how we know if them animals is up to date with any of their stuff. What we see here is this is just someone who uh, is very overwhelmed with the amount of animals that are in their house. They've multiplied very, very rapidly. And um, so now we're going to be taking the animals into our care and working to get them into foster homes. And we will probably be doing a lot of rat adoption uh, initiatives. I don't have time for this. Because if we find any more, we're going to have the officers up. I have them pat you guys down. If we find any more animals, you're going to go to jail. Well, certainly we're investigating it as a case of animal cruelty. And so it's a little premature for me to say what will happen from here. But that's where our investigation is taking us because of the conditions and the number of animals that were inside.